Hey, what's up? It's your friend Phil here, Project Management Trainer and Coach. Welcome to day two of 40 days to PMP and CAPM exam success. Yes, people studying for the CAPM are also welcome to join this journey. So I hope you did all that you needed to do for day one. I hope you're really solid in plan risk management because now we're taking it to the next level in identifying those risks. How do you identify risks? You could identify risks in various ways. You could start off with a team in a room. You could start off sending an email or survey asking, what do you think could affect this project? You could start off by sending a checklist from a previous project to team members. And this checklist from the previous project will have key risks to look out for, to ask, is it on this project or not? You know, so there are many ways. But the key thing is in identify risks no idea is a dumb idea. Don't tell people that the ideas for what could happen, good or bad, on a project is stupid. Don't tell them that. It's a free platform for people to share what they think could happen. So you want to collect all that information, whether by email, whether in person. A lot of the, the risk sessions that we do for companies, we do a lot of our risk management using post-it notes and using accelerated formats to get people on the same page, get them understanding the project, get them to see uh, the sources of risks and from there to begin to identify these risks. Okay, so there are m many ways you could do this. I would like you to open up your PMBOK guide and read the identify risks process and understand what the key tools, techniques, inputs and outputs of this are. Of course, you know, you're going to get a document where all these risks are kept. And that has a very specific term in the world of the PMI. It's called a risk register. So you want to make sure that your risk register is as clear and concise as can be and in a format that's not going to make people be a bit discouraged. You, you don't want it to be too big for the project. You don't want it to be too small either. So you want it to be at a level that is relevant to the uh, size of the project and is relevant to the visibility of the project. High visibility project, you might you might need to do a lot more than what you would do on a regular project in your firm, okay? So, by the end of today, I want you to have read, identify risks, and I want you to be really solid on it, such that you can answer my questions on identify risks, okay? Speak to you soon, and take care.